still, there's like certain shit, like, I, like I, uh, beautiful women. I'm always suspicious of them. I don't trust beautiful women. You know why? Because I've noticed beautiful women are only around when you have shit. Oh, what the fuck do you know? You're a woman. You wouldn't know. I'm a guy. I know. I'm telling you. When you're fucking broke, I swear you can't find a beautiful woman. There's trolls and midgets running around. Second you get some shit going on, women, beautiful women come out of nowhere like, oh my God, you have some stuff. Can you buy me some stuff? I want some stuff too. Buy me some stuff. I've always loved you. Then the second you go broke, oh my God, I left something over here. Next to this guy who has the stuff now. I'm not saying all women are like that, but there's women like that. I, those women, they stand at the finish line of a guy's life. They're not there in the beginning when you got the futon and you're trying to get your business going, you know what I'm saying? Because that dude could lose. He could go out of business. They don't want to lose it. They want a winner. So they stand, they don't give a fuck which winner. They just stand at the finish line. Every dude running by, they're like, I'll suck your dick, I'll suck your dick, I'll suck your dick, I'll suck your dick, I'll suck your dick. Now this is where guys fuck up, is we should stay with the girl who was there for the futon, because she loves you when you're a loser. But we don't do that. We fuck up because the dick's like, hey, here, fucking go over this one over here. Six months later, you're doing a behind the music. Yeah, I used to own that house. Now that damn bitch took it from me. 